Let's go. The Armour Infraction BLX V2. Look at this. I've seen it in action many times. It is so impressive up close. I'm loving this color scheme. Look at it from the top. I love the red, white, and blue. Man. In my opinion, this is probably one of the most stylish armas by design. Come in close on the tires here. Look at that. I am loving the way this body looks. I love the clear spoiler on the back. The look of this vehicle is so mean. It's got a lot of swagger to it, team. This is just the initial take. You know we'll do the 360 degree walk around. Something different this time too. With the maiden voyage, we're actually gonna do the off-road conversion before we take it for a run. Look at how low this sits. <laughs> got the trademark. Don't just bash blast right there. I just like the details of the bumper. This whole American flag look on the front just really has me. That is riding low, just like the felony. But like I said, we're gonna do the off-road conversion. We take this for a run, so we're going to actually have these tires poking out. We're going to give it some width. But this is how it looks stock from the front. You got to love it. This from the rear. I just love the, the angles of, of the body and then the shape of the spoiler. Probably the coolest looking armor from behind, no doubt. Loving that license plate. A little closer look here. Man, this thing looks awesome. Kind of get a lower look here at this skid plate bumper. Really love the design of this from behind. Looking at the inside, let's get you in close. Got the Spectrum Firma, 150 amp BSC. Got the Spectrum Firma 2050 KV motor. Something key to note on the infraction, got the S650 running the e-brake or the handbrake here. The felony does not have that. Get in close here. So when we do this conversion, I'm gonna be removing uh, the shock towers, the whole front and rear suspension. So, but this is what it looks like stock. I just love the design of all the armors from the inside. Very, very easy to work on. Very, very easy to access the diffs, the electronics. Um, just well done on Arma's part. And it really makes doing these different conversions um, a lot, a lot simpler. So let's take a look at what else came in the box. It's a Spectrum DX3 remote. You can see that's the AVC steering rate, brake rate, steering trim, throttle trim. Steering and throttle neutral reverse, throttle limiter. You can run the smart technology with this remote. Have some shims for the diff. Tighter gear mesh if needed. The stickers. 
the performance card for the all-road street bash but as i mentioned we're going to convert this to the off-road so it can bash on and off-road infraction comes with a 25 tooth pinion this is a cool card it kind of lays out the specs it says we can do 80 plus miles an hour the instruction manual the 25 tooth pinion the felony comes with the 27 tooth extra stuff for the shock tower um, and some other things in there sorry i can't see the glare is kind of bad ever so important tools all right so that's everything that came in the box now team it's time to do the off-road conversion all right so for me the first step we're going to take to remove the front suspension is we're going to remove the screw that screw and then there are two six screws right there we'll remove and that should be able to uh, take off this front bumper right here so we can get to the shock tower and the suspension And actually two additional ones you need to remove at the back here. This one and that one. Then you should be able to pull it off like that. So now that we got the front bumper off, it's about 12 screws to remove uh, the front suspension and uh, I like to keep everything in one piece and we're gonna be swapping it with the Arma Notorious front suspension. As you can see, I kind of kept everything all together in one piece. So let's start and I believe it's 12 screws. Start right here so we can access these hinge pins. And you flip it over and you undo these two. So it's two more screws right there that we have to undo. And then that will release the tension for us to take this little molding uh, piece off. All right, so now that we undid that, you should be able to just pry this, this plastic piece off with the flathead. It should slide out. Before I work my way back to the A-arms and the shock tower, I like to remove uh, these shock pins out just to give me a little more flex to remove the pins and get to the shock tower easier. So now next for me, I remove these two top A-arms and it is these two screws right here, two and a half millimeter hex. So now you should be able to take these screws, pull them out. And then you should be able to flip up these A-arms, just like that. Then you need to remove this screw right here, and then that screw right here, and that will undo the turnbuckles. So now that you've undo undone the screws, a turnbuckle should pop out. Also make note of the screws. When I mount the Notorious suspension, they're actually gonna go back to this hole over here. That's an important thing to make note of. So I moved those screws to the back holes. So now it's time to remove these two and a half millimeter hexes that hold in the shock tower. And then I'm also going to remove these two millimeter hexes on the diff case that hold in the sway bar. So now I should just be able to take the shock tower off. Boom, like that. Took the shock tower off, pull your pins out. And 
there goes the front suspension. So now everything just bolts on the same way it came off. That's what I love about the Arma 6S line and the 3S line and the 8S line. Um, all the shock towers have the same like trapezoidal shape so they can go on any diff case um, that's on the 6S line. So pretty much you just put the shock tower on there and I, I showed you before I had the notorious suspension pretty much all in one piece. I put the pins in secured um, the A-arms just for mock. I haven't tightened it up to make sure everything looks good. Put the shock towers secured. Um, yeah. These uh, these two screws back here, Let's see if we can see them, that hold the turnbuckles. Got those mounted in, drive shafts in. Pretty simple, team. I want you to make note of something, team, when you put this bumper back on, the tires not going to be able to turn so for me I kind of let this bottom part I kind of take this bottom part off right here right so you can end up turning the tires and that gets undone with these five screws so now we got that lower extended part of the bumper off you can see now we got plenty of room to turn. Sorry, I got I don't got the tires bolted on, um, but you can see we have plenty of room to turn now. Also, make note that this bumper screws into the bottom, just like how we took it off, and it screws into this front part of the shock tower. And don't forget to screw in these pieces right here. One. I think there's four screws lining the bottom, so this part fastens to that part. So pretty much, boom. There goes the front. Let's move around to the back. So let's take off the rear suspension now, and we're gonna start by taking off this rear bumper skid plate, and I believe it's one, two, and then over in here, three, four screws, and I think there's two more on the bottom. This rear brace right here, I'm gonna remove that with this bumper. So to take that off, you do undo that screw right there, and then there's one on the other side. Two more screws, team, right here. And now this rear bumper, you just have to pull it off. You kind of gotta, you kind of gotta press it down and then pull it out. And now the rear bumper's off. And now we can start taking off the rear suspension. So to remove this rear suspension, it's about six to eight screws, and we're gonna start by removing these two right here. Next, do these two on the bottom here. That's going to release the diff case from being on the chassis so we can slide the hinge pin holder out. Next, I'm going to go for these two screws back here so we can remove or push the body mount up so we can pull the shock tower off. So now you can see I've pushed the body mount holder up. So then I'm gonna go for these two screws right here and right there. And then I'm gonna go for these two screws that hold the sway bar to the diff case. And we should be able to pull the rear suspension off as one piece. So now we got that all disconnected. I pulled the hinge pins out. Should just be able to drop that hole suspension off of there so there it goes so there it goes and we're gonna put the notorious rear suspension on there so ran into a little problem team with the notorious rear shock tower um, it is a little too tall um, to get the body to fit 
So you got to get some other body mount poles or whatever you want to call these that are going to clear the height of the shock tower. Um, I want to make note of that because I did this conversion on my felony, but I had put a Italian rear shock tower on there. So just make note of that. It's pretty important or you're not going to get the rear uh, part of the body to be able to clip on and it's going to be fumbling around and we don't want that. All right. Adding that different body mount pole seemed to do the trick. You can see the bodies on the front and the back. And there's room to spare and we can clip the body down. And that's what it looks like now with the body on. Make note that with the shocks, you can do uh, different preload settings and that will kind of affect the, the ride height and how the vehicle sits. So do that to your liking. Let's take a look at it from the top. I want to show you how wide it is now. Look at how wide that is. The tires are poking, but there's one last thing we have to do. If you notice, I turn the tire here. We're hitting the body. So what I'm gonna do is, like I did on the felony, I'm gonna trim up the wheel well. I'm gonna kind of follow this this outside line right here and kind of trim that around on all four wheel wells and then uh i think she'll be ready to take it out for a ride so i'm gonna use these shears right here they're made for trimming rc bodies and i'm gonna follow this outside line right here around the wheel well all right all trimmed up and finished Let's take a closer look at it. Kind of see the lines I followed, what it looks like now. Let's take a look at it from the front. You can see how wide it is now. That is looking awesome and mean. So we took it out of the box. We took a look at the top, the front, the rear, the inside. We did the off-road conversion. We looked at what else was inside the box. There's only one thing left to do. Let's take it for its first ride. All right, team. Arma infraction. Maiden voyage, off-road conversion. Hope the weekend has been going well for you. Oh my goodness. Wow. Look at this thing go. Oh, definitely feeling crazy. Okay. Gonna need to trim that body up a little bit. Oh, this thing feels nuts. Watch it come across. <laughs> Definitely got to trim that body up. Let's get into the dirt now. Wow. Look at that. Oh, it's ripping in here. Oh my goodness. Let's take it up on the dirt. It seems like it likes it more. Are you serious? That's like half throttle. Just clowning around. Stop gearing. Gotta be careful. They are big boulders out here. This thing feels crazy. Whoa. What's crazy is I can definitely feel the difference between this and the felony. It rides way different. The way the suspension's tuned, the differences in the input gears and the diffs, it feels way held down, way more in control. Look at that thing just get up around here. All right, careful. There's like, there's big stuff to break your, oh, oh crap. 
All right, we lost a little wheel nut there. Let's see how long that lasts. I do not have my tools with me. So hopefully you can stay on. Look at that thing just get up and out. Whoa, there's some big boulders here. Gosh, this thing is a maniac. Just wants to just go crazy on this dirt. Let's bring it across. Wow. Gotta watch out for those boulders. I'm gonna tell you what, once it hits off the dirt into the grass, you can totally tell it's pretty low to be dipping in this grass. So this, this configuration, definitely better on the dirt so far, I can tell you. Oh, let's hope this tire stays on. Let's bring it back up through here. Wow. It's definitely a little safer around on this part. Oh, this is insane. It can go hard. Gonna need to trim the body up. Make note to self on that. This thing flies. This is crazy terrain for it too. Oh. -ho. Wow, crazy config on dirt. This is unbelievable. Way cooler than I thought it'd be. Look at it just drift around on here. Whoa, look at that big rock. <laughs> Let me tighten up the wheel a little bit. The type of, the type of handling this thing has now it's kind of crazy how even though it's converted to off-road, still runs like a drift racer. Still handles like it, which is awesome. Because then you take that kind of craziness, transfer it over to the dirt. <laughs> Let's keep it moving. Let's take it back to the grass a little bit. Oh, that is not a jump. This thing is just absolutely nuts. Oh, that is awesome. <laughs> this thing is a beast in the dirt. Oh, gets up very proper. I've never driven a vehicle that has this much craziness in the dirt. Maybe the Typhon, but. <laughs> This is my new dirt rider. Got to find a place for it to uh, stretch his legs with some jumps more. Oh. All right, I'm gonna go tighten up this tire team and we're gonna keep it moving. All right, let's keep it moving. Let's round out this run on the pavement. We've taken it on the grass. You're taking it on the dirt. <laughs> oh, oh, it still wants to move like a drift racer. You got to be gentle on the throttle. It's going out. 
Oh man, the brake rate needs to get way up. Oh! Oh, we are, we blew that tire. It looks like when I did that 360 donut, we tore um, the tire. So I'm gonna go slap a different pair of tires on here and we'll keep this moving. All right, team, we got the tire replaced. So we got some Duratrax lockups on here. Kind of the same ones I have on the Felony, but uh, they have these different uh, rims. So we're gonna go with these and uh, let's complete this voyage of the Arma Infraction off-road on the pavement. Let's go. Look at that thing. This thing is crazy. Wow. <laughs> it literally hopped that curb. Wow, it's just as crazy, if not crazier. This thing as a drift racer is crazy, but look at it. Look at it with these lockups. These lockups have been performing really, really impressive. This thing is, this thing is ready to go. Let's take it off ABC and see what it's worth, huh? Oh, without the ABC, it's completely nuts. Woohoo! Look at this thing come through here. That is impressive. That's got, oh, this thing hops curbs. Gotta love that. Let's take it back through this turn here. See what we got. That's so ready. Look at this. That is squeezing half trigger on the throttle and it feels amazing. This is no AVC. So it's, you definitely gotta be good to the throttle. You gotta ease to about a quarter, and then you can get there. <laughs> These lockups are impressing me, they really are. Man. Controlling this thing in this tiny little area is just nuts. I think we busted something. Oh, that looks good. <laughs> oh my goodness. This and the felony, gonna be a fun heads up. Yeah, it's just those shocks. I'm gonna need to adjust the preload. Yeah, this thing wants to lean. It has some good lean and it was just the shock. It looked like the, I have the preload pretty much uh, not, even, not even engaged. Wow, gotta just like the way this thing, Got to be really, really gentle. Wow, it will hold down though. <laughs> this is unreal. I'm, I'm gonna be honest with you. These these tires handle better than the Proline Badlands on on this tarmac. It really does. I do have the punch setting stock, so. So it is better to control. I had the felony on nine, which I think is a little aggressive. I don't think they need to be that high. Let's take it back. 
Yep. It's doing everything it's supposed to. Everything. No AVC is the way to ride this vehicle. Wow. Oh, and that is the LiPo. That is the LiPo. As always, team, I appreciate you joining me on this run of the Arma Infraction BLX V2 converted to off-road. We watched this thing go on the dirt, on the grass, and on the pavement, and I'm going to tell you, it's very impressive. But where it stands out the most to me is the dirt. I think the ride height is pretty low for certain amounts of uh, height within the grass, but still definitely can tear up the grass. And it crushed this pavement. Um, you saw me have some Proline Badlands. We blew um, a rear tire of those and I put on these Duratrack uh, lockups. And I'm gonna tell you what, I'm pretty impressed with these on the pavement. Um, and overall, with this infraction, I love it converted to off-road. Um, I love the Felony 2 that's converted to off-road. So we're gonna have to have a heads up to see which one is uh, more fun, have some speed tests. Man, this thing totally impressed me. Um, definitely gonna have to do some adjustments on the suspension, but overall, if you take this thing off-road and do, and do the conversion, um, you are gonna have a blast. Turn the AVC down on the remote and this thing is an animal. A lot more to come. Appreciate the time. Every time, hit like and subscribe for more content like this.